Hello, and welcome to another edition of the SciShow Talk Show. Today we are joined by Emily Grassley of the UM Zoological Museum and also the new YouTube channel, The Brain Scoop. Woo. Emily today is going to try to stump me a couple times, and then we're going to move on to an amazing animal at the end. Now first, we have what appears to be a skull. I haven't seen it yet facing me. It just got put on the table, so I don't really know what's going on. So let's turn it toward... Oh, shoot. Does that help at all to clarify? I can also take this part off. Yeah, um, can, I, can I handle it? Yeah. Okay, whoa, why doesn't it have any teeth? Wow. It's lost a couple, I'll give it that. Okay, but, but they're all back here. Mm-hmm. It's very heavy, mm -hmm. something sturdy. Yes. And it's an herbivore. Good. That's all I got so far. Getting close. Let's look at... Oh, I think I might have a guess. Yeah. I might have a guess. I don't know, though, because I don't really know what these things look like. But I'm going to just w like wild leap and say, is it a taper? No, oh, it's, it's not. Oh, it's not. If it's no. close at all? Kind of. Well, Morphologically guess... close. Genetically, not so much. Okay, so tapers are tapers uh, rodents? No, tapirs okay. are actually parasodactyls. They're... They're in the same. <laughs> they're in the same order as um, rhinos okay. and horses. Kind of looks like a tapir. Yeah. Okay. Kind of. Is it? Uh, um, uh, is it a pig? No, it's not a pig. Is it something like a pig? Mm, not really. No? I think you're. I think you're thinking the wrong kind of environment. How so? Well, is it doesn't live on the land? Well, yeah, maybe it doesn't. Oh, jeez. It's definitely grinding up yep. leafy matter. Yeah. You were getting close. You were warmer. You're but tepid. It, but it lives in the ocean? Kind of. But it walks around in no. the water. N yes. It yes. walks around in the water. Yep. In the water. So it's, I don't know. I'm got, I've gotten so close. You're so close. I know when I tell you. Is it? Is it was so not close. big enough to be a hippo, obviously. Nah. What? what? But maybe it is. Big enough to be a hippo? Yeah. It's not a hippo, but it's kind of hippo-sized. What am I missing? What am I forgetting about? It doesn't live on land and water. It only lives in water. But it has legs. Vestigial legs. You did, you you had me believing that it was. It's a manatee. Yes. Yeah. I got there. It's you, a manatee. You had me. Uh, you had me believing that it had legs. Um, it does have legs. It just doesn't use them to walk on wa on the land. It doesn't use them to walk <laughs> on water either. <laughs> <laughs> I thought manatee a couple of times, but I don't know why I avoided that. I don't know. Just go with your gut, man. Yeah. I think it'd be awesome to be a manatee, personally. <laughs> just eating and farting all day long. <laughs> Pretty much. They do fart a lot. That do is one they? thing I know about manatees. Because you can see the bubbles, so you know Ew. when they're farting. Really? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's not as cute. Ah, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, get over it. Yeah. All funny. right. Well, I got there eventually. Yeah. So we will say, uh, stumped. But uh, fascinating animal, thank you for showing it off. We have a second. We do. Uh, second thing to show off today. So I'm gonna move this guy over. Sometimes here. I worry that you're gonna run out of weird things from the museum to show us. I was worried about that too, and then our curator just stopped showing me everything, and he's like, "You'll find it," which is awesome for me because I'll open a locker or something I've never looked in before, and then it's like, "We have seahorses." <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. But. See if you can figure out this one. All right, we've got another skull. Mm -hmm. You'd think that it would be a little easier. Oh, something oh, just on. sort of like. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I don't know very much about this stuff. I can see in its sinuses. Just think of it with all the fur in the in the. Fur well, the now you told me it, it has fur. Dang it. Uh, my first the... impulse, but this doesn't seem quite right. Is an otter. No. Not even close? Nope. Not even close. Like a totally other side of the animal kingdom. <laughs> I wish I had the bottom half of the skull. I'm going to blame it on that. Oh, okay. Well, I actually wasn't, I don't know. It, w it got broken on the seam. Oh, okay. And the mandible it in pieces. It. Um, it would eat some kind of vegetation. Mm, no? Kind, well. Mm. It's 
got flat no. molars? What does That's it a eat? Misconception. It's a it's a misconception. What what are flat molars good at? Grinding. Grinding. Mm -hmm. But not always. But not always vegetation. Fibrous vegetation. Are you saying that it likes to eat bones? No, not quite. But <laughs> what is it grinding? Similar in texture. Oh, wood. No. No. Closer. But. There are so many animals, Emily. I know. There are a lot of animals. I know. Do you want me to tell you what it is? Yeah. It's an aardvark skull. Oh, how the heck do you think I was going to get that? <laughs> I don't know. I picked it up. I was like, oh, yeah, this is an and aardvark. And apparently, what, ants yeah. and insects are the same texture as Similar. They leaves? have the crunchy exoskeleton. They're, they have to, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, we have an aardvark skull in our collection, and I love it. I think it's awesome. Do they have are, do they have long tongues? Yeah, they do. That come out. Mm -hmm. Where does that connect on the bottom? Yeah, I suppose. Yep, through the mandible. Mm. Do they have the the big hyoid mm -hmm. which attaches, and then it, bleh. 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 aardvarks are pretty cool. They are the only um, animal that consists of their entire order. Mm. So they, they that they're, they're unique a bit of in a, that. Bit of a freak. There, there are many species of aardvark, though. There are a couple. Okay. Um, but they're sort of an island, a little genetic island. Yeah, they're a little, little freaky island. They're also thought to be really closely related to things like elephants and whales. Huh. Well, aardvark. Yeah. I had a hard time imagining his face. Oh, yeah. I see him the now. The big nose. Yeah. The big, they have a big bulbous nose, and they have the big funny ears, and they're kind of pig-shaped. Pig-shaped. They're pig-shaped. <laughs> So, there you there go. There it is. Now it's time for visiting with another amazing animal from Animal Wonders. Uh, we're going to get to see yeah. some reptiles. We have with us now Jesse from Animal Wonders. Yes. What do we have for us now? We have Blueberry the Blue Tongue Skink. This is Blueberry. She doesn't look very blue on the outside. Not on the outside. <laughs> she has a trick up her sleeve. How do you make her... Uh, there, there it is. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. She has a blue tongue. Yeah. Why? 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 <laughs> Can well, I get one of those? <laughs> you want a blue tongue? Yeah, I do. Just tattoo it. Yeah. Just the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she has a blue tongue that actually helps her survive. She's going to use that tongue to kind of fake out anyone that might want to eat her. I would think that that would just attract attention. <laughs> well, in the animal world, bright colors mean danger, warning something's wrong with this animal, usually poisonous. So by having that blue tongue, she's pretending that she's poisonous. But she's not poisonous. She's not. She would be totally delicious. She would. <laughs> what makes her even more delicious is this tail. That it is a gorgeous tail. That is a gorgeous tail. <laughs> she uses this as her second, like her backup um, protection. In case that animal is not tricked by the blue tongue, she's going to turn around and try and run away. Well, her legs are quite short, so she's not going to get very far very fast. But that animal's most likely gonna grab onto that tail. So she can let go of that tail. She's also, is that like off. a conscious, just like, like going to the bathroom, kind of like, I just gotta um, shed I, my I'm, tail? I'm or scared it, to death, and they're gonna it, pull a little bit. So that mm -hmm. there, there is a requirement for the predator to be pulling a little bit. Yes, yep, okay. yep. It will bleed, but it'll stop, it's made to stop real, real yeah. fast, and uh, she'll grow that back within about a year. Um, granite, she finds enough food because it yeah. is her built-in refrigerator. That's oh. her, her energy storage back mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, where, where could you find one of these things? In Australia, actually, and she would be found in northern Australia. That's the color she is. That pattern there is going to be the northern species. So, why exactly are her legs so incredibly short? It seems kind, kind of kinda, useless. Yeah, it's yeah. like that's not very effective. Like, is she is she half is she trying to be a snake? <laughs> she's she, on her she's way. working on her way there. Yeah, okay. they'd actually if they were longer, they'd actually just get in her way because she does like to burrow down into holes and other small crevices on the ground. Mm -hmm. So, if she had really long legs, they just get in the way. Okay. She actually has another really neat thing about her back legs there. If she were going into a hole to escape someone, of something trying to eat her, and all of a sudden she came face to face with maybe a snake, oh. she it couldn't turn around because it's a pretty small hole, so she can take these back legs and flip them 180 degrees and run as fast backwards as she can forward. And Emily now really wants to see this thing <laughs> I, skeleton. I do. <laughs> I, you know, I've been thinking about how that... Uh, 
you know, proximal end of the femur fits into the ilium, but I can check that out. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, we Blueberry, thank you very much for coming in today. We would love to see you. Thank you. No. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us on this episode of the SciShow Talk Show. Emily, thank you for joining us as well. Thank you for this having me. It was a very fun time. Oh, uh, it's the best time. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.